Ghanaians took to the streets to protest about blackout, no electricity, things has really gone bad. The last time I, I, I visited Ghana, I know I, I, know I experienced um, lights out, but it wasn't for a long time though, you know, so they could do this because they were having the light at some point and now it's no longer there. But can Ni Nigerians cannot come out to protest for uh, uh, no electricity because it's now a norm. They are okay with it. See what's happening in Ghana. And I keep asking myself, what, what are African leaders, what, what, what exactly are they doing? All you hear is they keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing all the money they borrow. What do they use it for? What do they use it for? Since you cannot, the citizens cannot boast of constant electricity, which is the normal, which is the normal fa facility they are entitled to. Infrastructure and amenities, the citizens are entitled to. Their rights. You deny them of it. And then the resources in the countries are not enough for you. You still go out of your ways to borrow. What do you use all that to do? I can imagine. Businesses are shutting down. Nothing is working. A lot of people do not even have good means of livelihood. Because electricity is everything. synonymous with the frustration and economic hardship caused by these outages. Led by actress Yvonne Nelson, the coalition of civil society groups, entertainers and business owners protested to pressure the government into finding a lasting solution to the heartbreaking power crisis. I feel this government and the leaders now are arrogant. They need to be transparent. We need to know what exactly is going on. And we're hoping that this will save us some pressure for the government to, you know, bring our lives back on. Light is no more luxury. It's a necessity. We don't even care how much taxes you put on it. We want the light, period. At the Tetakwashi roundabout, the protesters blocked the main Medina Road at the Tetakwashi interchange where not a single light was functional, bringing the Ukla movement to a standstill. The economic condition is such harsh that people couldn't even transport themselves to this place. But we dub up our hearts to them. It's about people who are suffering. It's about businesses who are suffering. It's about businessmen who are losing millions of Ghana cities because the government is incompetent in not putting our lights on. The protesters' message to the government. This is really terrible. I don't know what governance is all about. If you cannot provide basic amenities to your citizens, I really do not know what governance is all about. If it's just all about gallivanting and borrowing money everywhere, I don't know. I came across one of the African countries too where you and had to come in to put solar energy to help for electricity for their hospitals and clinics. And then I ask, so if UN does not come through to do this, the, the, the hospitals remain in blackout. African leaders, please wake up and do the needful. We have, we, we've come a long way to, to, to stop talking about electricity, electricity, this, electricity, that. Thank you so very much again for your time with me. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my next as I bring your way again more trended news. Bye.